acoustic or electric drums? No. Electric drums? In church. Go. <sighs> Sorry, I wanted to give you the reaction that I usually get from people when I say the word <laughs> electronic drums in church, right? You get rode out on a rail. Is is there a practical application to electronic drums in church, yeah, Stuart? Tell me. Tell me. You, what I, do you think? I would say yes. I do believe there's a practical place for electronic drums in church. I can hear a bunch of worship leaders just like turning the channel yep, off right We're now. done. We're done. Like, Hang on. Don't. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Stay tuned. I like to do this because yeah. I have the control. It's fun. To... So we have a really good reason. Okay. It's worth listening. It's only going to be a couple minutes. We have a really good reason. Here's that reason. So again, we're in churches all the time, like every day. So we have conversations that you're not going to find on the internet <laughs> because we're, you know, we're having these conversations with people out in the middle of nowhere or whatever, yep. all different sizes. There's all different sizes of churches. That Absolutely. We're... So with that said, let's take a, let's just make an example real yes. quick. You got a small church. Yep. You've got a volunteer tech team. Mm -hmm. You've got volunteer musicians. You don't have the, the best sound system that you would like to yeah, have. Maybe a sub and a couple boxes. Yeah. You know, maybe the room isn't treated the way you would like it to be treated. You're working on it. You're trying to put a budget together to have that or whatever. You yeah, know, it's, 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 it's in flux. Absolutely. So imagine as the volunteer sound guy that understands that he's just there to kind of push some faders and he's learning, but he doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, imagine you've got an, a full acoustic kit. Let's let's even say it's behind a shield. Sure, because that does a lot. Yeah, that does a lot. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't have to imagine. And, I've yeah, seen this. And it's a cheaper kit. Yeah. And it's a beginner playing it. Yeah. How are you going to get a good sound out of that? Are you even going to have gonna enough put channels? I'm going to really expensive microphones in front of it. That's Re got to be really the expensive microphones, yep, and it'll just answer. make it all sound great. Yep, wouldn't matter. Okay. So imagine you just, you, you, you get rid of all that yep. and you, you plop down a, a decent, spend a little bit of money. Yeah. Get a good, you know, a couple thousand dollars goes a long yeah, way. Get a good kit. Yep. Let's even make let's even run it in stereo. Sure. Whatever. Or let's do a kick and everything else or yeah, whatever. Nowadays you can, you know, do whatever yeah, you want. whatever you want. Let's, 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 let's say we got four channels. We got mm -hmm. kick, snare and stereo. Overheads. Yep. Um, you run that into your PA system. I guarantee you. That's going to sound a million times better than the other scenario yeah. that we just mentioned. Well, and here's the deal. You got to ask yourself, first of all, do I have a good drummer? And I'm sorry, it's an offensive question in the church. I know, but uh, like you're, you keep offending people. I do. <laughs> do you have a good drummer? Okay. Does that drummer know how to tune drums? Cause those two things are not mutually exclusive. Yes. Because an acoustic drum set needs maintenance. It needs new heads. It needs to be tuned. Well, then it needs to be mic'd well with good technique but even if, even if you've got a great drummer with a great sounding drum set in your room, if you don't have proper way to mic that kit, if you don't have proper drum surround, insulation, acoustical treatment, and then even if you had all of that, like, it's a complex beast to mix an acoustic drum set yeah, and to do it well. It's... It's probably the most challenging thing that I hear from volunteer sound guys. It's daunting. Is that's probably the number one question. I can never get my drums to sound right. That's right. that's a whole like we spend a lot of time training people specifically on that be because it is hard. Now imagine that your volunteer you take all that stress away. And and let's just go back to even the simplest. You're just sending a stereo drum signal from this electronic drum set. You're sending them pre-produced excellent sounding drum sounds right to their desk and all they have to do is bring it up and balance it with the band and you don't deal with any stage volume you don't have people plug in their ears because the symbols are so overwhelming i mean there is a place for it and i even did a big uh christian event a few years back it was a big youth fe festival we used both oh i used an electronic drum set during like the times of worship because they wanted us to have kind of a, a slightly lower volume level, a little more control, and the drummer wasn't as good. And he even said that to me when he came in. He's like, I'm a youth pastor. I just help out. I'm like, cool, yeah. man. That's what you should. So we got that dialed in. We had a great sound coming from the electronic drum set. And then they had a headliner band come in one night for like a more concert style. And we mic'd up a really nice drum set. The guy tuned it super great. 
mm-hmm. brought it into a really good PA that we had tuned up, and we had a lot of fun producing that too. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be one or the other. They both can have their place, but when you've got all these churches just trying to copy the big churches and going, well, the only way to do it is to have an acoustic drum set with mics and a drum surround and all, sometimes you go down that rabbit trail and you just never end up in a good spot. Doing a lot of festival stuff, mm-hmm. we'd have a lot of backline. If you don't know what backline is, it's just there's you know amps and drums and stuff that just live on stage yeah. all day long while bands you know cycle through and stuff. And I remember back in the day being blown away because I would be run in front of house, mm-hmm. and I knew the drum set didn't really change much. I mean, they would bring in snares and cymbals and stuff, but right. like, but like the drum set was the same, and it would drastically sound different in the PA. And it's because of the drummer. It's the way. It's the chops. It's yeah, learning, so much learning your your craft. Now with electric drums, you, you don't need to be you so picky. You, you don't have. You know, you can be a beginner, and it's yep. it's you know, it's going to sound like you know how it's going to sound. And so, f- and from a front of house tech point of view. The beauty of that is even if your drummer's a little less in, you know, consistent, you're still going to get fairly consistent sounds up front of house. Now, the only caveat I'm going to plug into this as we wrap this one up is you have to put enough of the electric drums in the house. Correct. My biggest pet peeve is when I walk into a church. You hear this? Yeah. When you can hear the <laughs> stick hitting the drum pad louder than the drums in the house, you've got a problem. Yeah. That's yep. a problem. So, like, you still need to use your ears as a sound technician and think logically and mix it well but if you do that you're going to get a much more consistent result 